Hello there guys. Today we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. I have this big blank canvas in my bedroom and I just wanna make it beautiful. And so that's what I'm gonna try to do today. And for this project, I'm going to be using these big Arteza acrylic paints. It's basically filled with just the primary colors, but then it also has a couple of fun surprises like gold and silver and stuff like that. Each of these tubes is four ounces, and so it is significantly more than just a little tube of paint. So I am using Mars Black. And then I'm just using a towel, and I have this big thing of water. I'm just going to be rubbing all of this paint on the wall. So I put a bunch of paint on the towel and then I start rubbing. And I will admit that I had no idea what I was doing and I did absolutely no research before I did this project. I just completely went with my gut on this one. This wall was a little bit tricky because as you see, it is textured. And so that kind of made getting like the more smooth gradient effect a little bit difficult. But I am very stubborn and a very determined person. And when I put my mind to something, I usually do it. The challenge here was was just kind of getting all of the paint in the little nooks and crannies. Um, there are kind of two tricks here. One of them is this circular motion. Circular motion is your friend. And then the other one is just using a good bit of water for coverage and then doing a couple of layers. And I'm not gonna lie, the gradient part was a challenge. It took me a while to figure out kind of the best technique here. And what I ended up doing is I ended up introducing another towel into the mix. So we've got kind of our black towel, and then I just grabbed a clean white towel um, to help with the mixing. And so I would kind of make the wall wet a little bit and put a little bit of gray on there and then rub it off a little bit and that back and forth was kind of the story of, of this project. Of course, I had to consult Pierre to see what he thought and he didn't really have an opinion. In fact, he didn't really care at all. So yes, this is what I did for a couple of hours. Um, I would say all in all, I probably painted straight for, I would say about two hours. I would say that the painting part took me about two hours. Um, the filming always takes so, so much longer, actually. Um, but the painting wasn't too bad. Um, it took a little patience. I had to let some bits dry, especially when you start to get the wall wet. 
um, you start to kind of rub the paint underneath and so I did some some letting it dry and I did a lot of standing back and seeing what was actually happening with these kind of projects I really do feel like not getting too attached to your original vision is kind of the best way that might actually be the case with almost everything creative actually once I kind of saw this as almost like a misty, like mist on the mountains, like kind of a uh, thing. I just leaned in into that and didn't force it to be too super gradient and just kind of played up the mist. And it's really not that difficult. If you have a wall, um, you know, it, it takes a couple hours and you can transform it into something um, pretty fun. Again, I'm not really 100% sure if acrylic was in fact the best medium for this, but it's what I had and it worked. And I'm probably going to carry this through the rest of my bedroom and I'm gonna go ahead and use the same tube of acrylic um, it's like eight bucks which is really not that bad for like a really cool wall effect you know so you can see what it looks like up close it actually looks better in person even than on camera I think it looks just like a bit smoother and more interesting And now I am kidding out the wall. So you get to watch me merchandise if you like. And voila, here we have it. We have our little merchandised reclaimed pine shelves. I actually love these shelves, by the way. I got them on Amazon. I highly recommend them. And we just have like kind of fun mix of plants and trinkets and fabulous shoes and inspiring artsy stuff and an aquaba. accessories and then on the wall I thought this accented uh, the misty ombre paint so well this is a painting by my Nana Norma Smith angle she was the original artist and many of the art supplies I use are hers and then on the far end I've got a fabric that was designed based on one of my paintings actually so that's the full effect it has really transformed my room actually I slept um, in it and woke up and w was just like oh wow this is like a breath of fresh air that's why I love 
Um, just taking the time to make spaces beautiful, it's really worth the effort in my opinion. And so I hope that you guys enjoyed this little experimental DIY project. And if you guys are doing any interesting decor or wall paintings, or if you have any requests for projects, do let me know. And I will talk to you again soon. TTFN.